How old were you when you realized your chosen career path just wasn't right for you and you needed a change? What job were you doing and where are you now? I spent 10 years in IT and hated it. I was laid off. When I started looking for new jobs, I began to realize I really didn't want to find a new job in IT. I switched to public safety and couldn't be happier. Slightly off topic. I got hold of a book called, Discover What You Are Best At, by Linda Gale. While I was laid up with a job-related injury, read the boot and found a new career. I haven't chosen a career path yet because I'm still in high school. But that's what I'm afraid of. Choosing one career path and spending so many years at college just to find out that I'm no longer interested in the career. Then having to change classes again. I'm terrified of self-doubt. And I have so much when it comes to what I want to do as an adult. I just don't want to spend so much money to end up doing something that I can barely keep my head afloat with. I'm just a very indecisive person RN. I never got to that point. I work in a warehouse and the only reason I'm going into EE is because my new job will pay for my education. US perspective here. I went to graduate school for a very specific engineering topic. About a year before I finished my PhD, I saw one of the most well-respected later career people in my field get their massive projects funding pulled. He basically had to switch career paths like five to ten years before retirement. And due to the fact that he was training a lot of younger engineers, likely meant that he delayed retirement out of a sense of duty. Turns out, there is relatively little corporate money in the field, with most of the money being federal funding, energy-related research with minimal actual public interest. This means that funding decisions are basically top-down from the executive branch. So anything with political ramifications can see 10 to 11 figure budgets appear or disappear in 4 to 8 year time frames. Also, most funding came from open call grant proposals, which are technically blind. But the major funding would generally find its way to people with established projects or reputations. And earlier career people would tend to get smaller grants for less reputable projects. Younger people would typically have to seek funding more often for research topics less likely to bear fruit which would bolster their professional reputation until about the 15-year mark. I still have passion for the field. But I wanted to have kids and a work-life balance. So I moved into defense contracting. I'm in the office 40 hours a week and haven't had to write another grant proposal since. Maybe not the answer you're looking for, but an opportunity to tell my story. I went to college to follow my chosen career path in the radio business. This was back in the 80s. I did the college radio thing. Got a part-time job at a small station after I graduated and it went nowhere. Then I got a part-time job at another station. Nowhere. Third station. Nowhere. My day job was working at a restaurant. And I was pretty good at that. Worked my way up from dishwasher to front of the house manager. And had all the papers signed to go into the company's management training program and have a career with them. I'd kept my foot in the radio business long enough. And at age 27 I was about ready to give up and be a restaurant manager. Then I said, no. Fuck that. I was not going to give up on my dream. And then wound up in another restaurant job. But then I really said, fuck that. Threw caution to the wind. And moved across the country to take a job doing what I really wanted to do. At a bankrupt station in the middle of nowhere for a lot less money. It was the right move. Nine months later I was, discovered, by a guy who was driving through town. 
heard my show, and hired me to work at his station in a much larger market. That little bankrupt station was the stepping stone to a career that lasted 25 years. I was even a little famous at one point. And then it fell apart because the radio industry is collapsing in on itself. A couple years ago I met someone who was working in the self-driving car industry. Wait. That's a thing. That's where I am now.